I was uh, dancing wait. away and a lovely lady said, you look better now. Oh. <laughs> and you do look amazing, you look lovely. Oh, thank you. you so do, do you, you oh, look great. You. I was a hair model at the age of 14 onwards and I started coming home with blue, yellow, green hair. They were so upset, so terrified. Oh, look at you with all your hair. Who was doing your hair there? Uh, uh, Derek Goddard from a very big department store yeah. in Birmingham. And then I moved on to Keith at Smile. And he did my hair. I know. We had the I same did. hairdresser he from did David five. Bowie's as well, yeah. which yeah. was wow. fantastic. And we all had red hair. hair. All had red hair. But my mum would make me walk four feet behind her. <laughs> or preferably on the other side <laughs> of the road. <laughs> <laughs> what it was all about was it about being rebellious it was totally about being rebellious and I don't know if you agree Janet I think there was a generation of teenagers that were just completely different from anyone yes. else and that became the punk movement mm. and I think we were born punks we mm. were just well you sassy had to and... react against all the stadium rock that went before because I think there was a whole uh, load of bands that played to these vast arenas and then your generation came along and you went, anyone can play an instrument and we're going to do it our way and it turned everything. Yeah, yeah. And absolutely. Yeah. Where were you then when that was happening? So were you really like 16, 17? 17 when I started. Yeah. I joined the National Theatre when I was 18. Um, and then I formed my band. We played garages, synagogues, with shopping centres. <laughs> Anyone who'd have you. Um, I, I remember we played the Ford car companies, yeah. working man's club. <laughs> They'd never seen punk rock no, before. No. It was like <laughs> Dagenham. It was like, what? <laughs> Did you get on at school with all these different colour hairstyles? Were you bullied or did they just sort I, of accept? I was sent home to cut it all off. I was, you? Yeah. yeah. And I just came back with a different colour. <laughs> but <laughs> I didn't fit in because I had extreme dyslexia anyway. And they realised the only class I would behave at was art yeah. or directing drama. Anything to do with the, the, the creative, creative arts, yeah. I would behave. But put me in history, put me in geography, I'd be picking my nose, flicking it at the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're here because the 80s are back. The 80s Invasion Tour. The 80s Invasion Tour is taking part in March. We open at Rill on the 2nd of March. It's Paul Young. Fantastic. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. China Crisis. Gorgeous. Yeah. And Martika, who hasn't performed here in a long, long time. I remember time. Martika, Absolute Toy Soldier, and Toy I feel the Soldier. Earth Move Prince did a lot of her stuff, didn't he? And mm. she is looking great. I'm going to have to go on a diet. <laughs> You look great. How do you keep in trim and things you do? Well, I do fabulous. four shows a week throughout the year. I don't always do tours. I just keep performing. And that gives me three days vocal rest a week. It also means I can sneak in movies, because yeah. I love making movies. So I, I always try to work around the casting so acting directors. acting and singing. And... It's so what you're still, I... like, really creative. You, you just yeah. love doing I want to know how now. you stayed married to the same man for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> And you one, so. I don't know whether to be jealous or... Oh, no, 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 tell me the secret. I think the secret is, and please don't quote me on this, and don't do as I say, is I hardly see him. <laughs> Do you live in the same house? We, we do now live you in do. the Did same you house. For a long time, didn't we you? didn't. We had two separate houses, but he's still got his own house a hundred yards away, just so he knows he can be independent. Yeah. And he doesn't go there so often now. I think he likes the idea of being Me and my married. husband are very similar. He's got an outbuilding at our house, which is his <laughs> studio. <laughs> are you and, allowed and, in and, it? Um, not that often. Like his posh and, um, and he just says he's got to go and work in the studio, and I don't always think he does. I think he just goes in and has a bit of time by himself. Just quiet time. Yeah, it's, it's musicians. It's again. It's a creative time. So does he live in your house or do you live in his house? I live in his house. Right. And when... oh, do you go in his bedroom? Have you got separate bedrooms? <laughs> I tell you what. This is really a secret to success of a marriage. Yeah. We have a snore room. <laughs> I'll be in that room. <laughs> <laughs> he snores. So uh, uh, after decades, because as you said, married for thirty years. Decades of sleepless nights. I said, please, please, can there be somewhere for you to go when you sound like a foghorn? <laughs> and he agreed. He, agreed. he did. So you've got the bedroom for the time to be lovely and gorgeous together, and then you've got the snore room when you just want a um, good night's sleep. Believe it or not, uh, Martine, we still are very naughty in the bed. Good! Yeah. Oh. We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here.
to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really.